Hey guys, so recently I have gained some uh, notoriety, I suppose, for playing elves in Historic almost exclusively. So today I'm updating you guys with my elves list for AFR. I have decided to add three Circle of Dreams druids to my list, cutting the Abomination of Lanor and cutting the Growing Rites. So I am excited to share this with you, hopefully things go really well with this deck. Uh, this is going to be my very first time testing it, so let's give it a go. Um, we're just going to launch directly into my first game with elves. I know I name my decks like a savage, I don't want to hear it. Alright, game number one. I So I reached a, a very high number of um, uh, you know I like this hand, of rank 4 this season, which is my highest rank ever, so I've been taking a little bit of a break after that. So you can see I'm number 1448 right now, which is not a great rank, but I have decided not to focus on my rank at the moment because I am already pre-qualified because of my top 1200 from last month. So we're going to start with this tasty turn 1 Thoughtseize, um, taking their Steamkin. I understand I'm playing myself directly into a shock, which kind of sucks. So what I'm actually going to do here is play the Clan Caller instead of the War Master. The Dwayne Delete is also not a great play for me. I was going to say if they're smart, they might hold the shock, but it appears that they are not. I do like the Circle of Dreams Druid, but it is a great target for the Shock also, considering I know they have it. I'm just gonna send in the Clan Caller. Um, I just want them to play out that Shock so I can move on with my life. I like this card. I like this card a lot. It is a 2-1. Kinda sucks, but... It's every creature, not just every elf. Not that I play any creatures that aren't elves. However, it's like a second arc druid. Uh, you can hit it with Collected Company. Everything is great. Interestingly, they're still not going to play out that shock. So I'm going to swing here with just the 3-3. Three, three. Assuming they shock the clan caller, maybe in response to get a double trade. With the one win, they still didn't do it. I will play one more master. I would really like an additional land for that collected company, so. They either shock the clan caller or they shock the war master. But the war master is a 3 3, so they can't really shock it. I was just gonna lightning strike my face. That's cool, fam. This is a 3 3 now, so they have to get rid of the clan caller. It's fine, they're just gonna burn face. I could have played the War Master earlier, technically. Hmm, no plays. Spicy. They have played the Shock now, so I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Circle of Dreams Druid. They could be holding another Brain Spell. I'm still gonna get the War Master trigger, however. Here we go, I'm gonna send all three. We are kind of racing for time here with the Roiling Vortex, but I definitely have more direct damage. They may also have the Shock. That's fine. Okay. Fascinatingly, they do not. I felt like they would have used it after First Strike if they had it. We are on relatively even footing, provided they don't play a Flame Sweep or something scary. I take one damage, I play a second Elvish War Master, and my opponent concedes. All is well. All is well in the world. Circle of Dreams Druid felt good there, it gave me the mana for Collected Company, the same as Arc Druid would have. I recently got my email of like uh, all of the games played in, um, I guess in, in Strixhaven, since Strixhaven released, I played some 3,161 games? That's obscene. That is obscene, fam. Um, ooh, three line war elves. It's a lot of mana. Nothing to do with all that mana. I'm gonna mulligan that hand. 
I don't like this hand either. I need a <laughs> this hand, sure. Get rid of an overgrown tomb and the realm walker. I don't know if that's quite the right play. Knight of the Ebon Legion, sure. Fine. I think we're going to play the Arcturid because it doubles as a lord. Very well, I take one. Please don't kill my Lenoir elf. Ah, it is vampires. Why? Why? Death Shadow? Oh, they're just going to pump the... Night. Sure, that's fine, I suppose. Maybe it is a Death Shadow deck. I have a ton of mana additionally now, and I still have not a lot to use it on. I would love to have one of those buffable creatures like Warmaster or Dinosaur Guy. <laughs> Can't remember his name to save my life right now. Um oh. Allosaurus Shepherd, Jesus Christ, that was embarrassing. I will not be blocking here. I will go to 12. I will play another creature. I suppose I could technically play them both. May as well. This is a lot of mana. I'll swing for two. Dealing two damage. Crippling fear. Ooh, that is not good for me. This one we just concede. That is not a card I see commonly played, but we learned a lesson. Crippling fear and vampires is very real. Um, hmm, I don't like this without a mana dark. Too slow. Turn two, turn three, turn four. Nope. This hand, this hand we like. We like this hand. I give up one clan color. This hand is very tasty. Turn one, Lenoir Elf, turn two, Archdruid. Unless they're playing something with counter spells, in which case we play the Allosaurus Shepherd and the Clan Caller. Seems okay. They did Mulligan to four, though, which makes me think maybe it's like a Tybalt's Trickery deck. Okay, nope, it's not. It is a Faithless Looting deck. This deck is hard to beat. Maybe they have a bad hand, though. Second Faithless Looting. They have one unknown in hand. That's pretty good for me, I think. Unless they just have a Mizzix Mastery in hand. They have to discard two, though, so they either discard the fourth land, or... You know what I'm gonna do? Let's see what they have in there. I'm nosy. Get rid of it. It was the Mystics Mastery. I'm glad I played this the way I did. Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna play everything. I have lethal next turn. They can't draw a land and a Mystic's Mastery. It's not possible. Nice. Good game. <laughs> okay, I'm glad I have the Thought Seas. This is why I play Golgari Elves and not Mono Green Elves. This is exactly, precisely the reason I play Golgari Elves. Nice. I didn't really get to evaluate Circle of the Dreams Druid in that game, though. Um, I do like this hand. I like this hand a lot, actually. It's pretty good. I don't really have a good time to use this thought seize, though. I could use it turn one, but I would like to get started playing creatures. Lava Runner is fine. They don't have a second land, it appears, so, um... 
I will go ahead and play the Arc Druid. I may live to regret this. I can't thought season and play Circle of Dreams Druid this turn, though. Okay, let me strike. It's not ideal. It's fine, though. Thoughtseize does lower my health, but it's probably good to see what they have in their hand. They have a lot of light up the stages. I'm going to take one. They can't have it. I guess I could take their other one. Uh, they don't have any more direct damage, so playing the Circle of Dreams Druid is probably fine. I am on 10 life. A bit scary. Hypermancer. They will probably light up the stage now. They have a Wizard's Lightning and a Mountain. Very well. I will go to 5. Certainly not ideal. I know all they have in their hand is that Scorch Spitter, and that would put me at lethal if I used this. But I had LSR Shepherd activation because of Circle of the Dreams Druid. So I have pretty good blocks. Um, I just need to survive. <laughs> They do have a Ramanap Ruins, so they can use the Wizard's Lightning and then the Ramanap Ruins next turn to kill me. Um, I'm gonna need this to go really well. Actually, they don't have the extra land, so... Two, three, four, five, six. So everything can swing except Circle of Dreams, Druid. Fascinating. If they draw a land, they can kill me with Ramanap runes. Or that. That works too. <laughs> that seemed a little unfair, but alright. It was very close. Circle of Dreams, Druid came in clutch. No worries. We're just testing it out. Ratings are not a big deal right now. Oh, this is a good hand as well. I will play the Jaspar Sentinel on turn one and the Allosaurus Shepherd and Thoughtseize on turn two, as well as dealing one damage. Correct. I don't have anything except the Thoughtseize, which is fine. They can take it, I suppose. Oh, this just got better. I can play this. And this. Although they could be running some Crippling Fear-esque board wipes in this black list. Um, hand hate really isn't too traumatic for me on elves. Practice list. But they didn't play it for red. Burglar bat. Okay. I will discard this land. Now I will play this Elvish Arc Druid and swing. They may make me discard the Circle of Dreams Druid. It is some sort of hand Haiti, Haiti discard deck, so. So be it. Burglar Rad dies. And we hope they don't have a Cry of the Carnarium. Waste not. Sure. Sure. Can't take it. It is a creature. Nice try. Um, I did not want to do that, because that kind of fucked me over with my Allosaurus Shepherd. But, fine. Uh, that was not how I wanted to tap. Auto tapper kind of fucked me. It doesn't matter, we won the game. Feeling it? Yelling it, Circle of Dreams Druid was not that clutch there because I already had the Arc Druid, but if I hadn't had the Arc Druid, it would have been clutch, so. I don't know if I prefer Marwyn or if I prefer this card. I will need another land. This hand, good. Very good. I will give up one Jeshfire Sentinel. Ooh, 
feeling good about this. My start was a bit slow, but it's okay. I can't really counter anything I play, so I will start with the Arc Druid. Gives me good damage for. It's a nice thing about it being a Lord, additionally. Come to the sea. It's one more turn after this coming turn before they can board wipe me. Two to bottom is a good sign. Narset. Okay. You know what? Let's see what they have in here. Um, we're taking that shatter. That probably puts us in a winning position. I will now play the Circle of Dreams Druid. I will not let them scry off Narset a second time. They will have to naturally top deck a board wipe to stay in this game. Circle of Dreams Druid not being a lord is like kind of sad. But now I can just free cast this crater up here. I guess I could have done that with just the Arc Druid, but. Eh. -eh. It's nice. It's really nice in place if I don't have um, Arc Druid or something like that ready to go. Um, I don't like this hand. I like this hand. I give up. Yes, Castle Garenbrig. Because I can't play it with the Blooming Marsh, otherwise I would give up the forest, but um, Blooming Marsh is not a forest, so... Kind of sucks, however, we will make do. We do what we can. This deck is hard to beat, but we did go first. Don't have a thoughtsies. There was the unburial rights. We have a collect a company this turn. It could be a lightning helix. Nope, it's a thrilling discovery. Okay. Yard. We will go ahead and cast it for the extra damage. Ooh, taking the Circle of Dreams Druid and the Realm Mocker. Um, that does put us on lethal this turn, provided they don't run a Clarion. That was a good collected company. No Clarions, no Lightning Helixes. Nothing. Ah, Prismari Command. That was, that was also the thing that fucked me up. Okay, so... Now we might be scuffed. I guess I should play the Collected Company. Yeah, it's kind of too late, though. Without the... Circle of Dreams Druid. But Circle of Dreams Druid was... A great draw here, unfortunately, I just don't have it. Um, Scholar means they can play Dragon Storm, which means I think I'm dead. Oh, they're gonna Mystic's Mastery Cleansing. Yeah, okay, I'm out of this one. It's fine. <sighs> Circle of Dreams Druid was good there, it just was unfortunate that they had the Prismari Command. I was previously running Abomination of Lenoir as well in this list, um, but I am no longer, so Thoughtseize is the only black card I am playing. I'm playing against an almond, though. Mm, I do like this hand, but I am, again, not starting with the Thoughtseize, which may be my downfall. I just really like to put on the gas with my elves very fast in this game. I did get to go first, so may not be that ridiculous. They're probably playing a Phoenix deck or a control deck. 
Just guy control. Unsure at the moment. Hmm. You know what? I will. Okay. Yeah, they weren't having it. We did go pretty fast there. We went pretty ham. I think Circle of the Dreams Druid will probably be a committed inclusion to this list, so... Don't foresee it going anywhere. Oh man, they're playing Giganta, so it's probably Burn. I don't like this hand that much against Burn. Especially because they get to go first. I also don't like this Drop Shadow. What is happening here? I like this hand. Hmm. No turn one play. Pillar of Flame is a weird inclusion. I guess not. Uh, I am in a Thoughtseize. I want to see what's in there. Shock, skewer. Mm, I'm just gonna take the Thermo Alchemist, I think. Seems right. Seems right. Color of Flame, my face. In the light of the stage? Sure. Um, they have another shock. I guess I could play one Elvish Warmaster and see how I do. Probably just gonna shock it. It's fine. Hopefully I draw another land so I can play both Warmasters in one turn. That's not that helpful. Not that helpful. My headphones also just died. It's okay, they're wireless and I forgot to charge them. Sure. I guess I'll play the Circle of Dreams, too. It's just gonna get shocked. Might be in trouble because I never drew the fourth land. It's truly not ideal. Not ideal. Yeah, I did get shocked. Are they holding another? They're holding... Oh, they're just going to activate Ramanav Rune. Okay, they're holding a Skewer, which they could activate to kill the War Master at full cost. I can block the Gigantha with the 1-1. One, one. Now they're going to Skewer the Lanor Elf, sure. Block with the 1-1. One, one. Um, I am going to play the other War Master here. I think this is the right call. I have a lot of blockers. They only have one card in hand unless they draw light at the stage, which they could cast for full cost. Soul Scar Mage is not that scary. Um, Elvish Arc Druid it is. They probably holding maybe a burn spell. I don't know. I won't swing anything here. I will just chill. We have Crater of Behemoth next turn. They do two damage to my face. I go to seven. I think we've got it. I think we've got it. Two lands. I think we got it. Played that one very carefully, but we got it. I'm feeling pretty positively about Circle of Dreams, Druid. I would also, uh, I'm planning on playing in a historic tournament this weekend, so I would also kind of like to test in best of three, uh, which may be something I do on my Twitch stream, just do some best of three testing with this list. Don't like that hand. <sighs> this hand is very slow. But it's probably better than a hypothetical hand of five, unless that hand of five is extremely gas. Let's see if my opponent mulligans. Mulls again. 
You know what? I'm keeping it. This was probably a bad call, and I may never draw that third land. It's the third land. This could be because of the token, they could be board wiping me here on turn three, which is like almost impossible to defeat unless I had a Thoughtseize. Oh no, they're just gonna Mizzix Master the Magma Opus. Um, they kill my entire board. They didn't kill Alistar Shepherd. How? Interesting. Maybe I'll get out of this with Collected Company, maybe. They can't counter it. Uncounterable because of Allosaurus Shepherd. Hmm. Well. Didn't really do great. They still get to kill it. And they gain three life, growing to 16. Maybe they're missing a land. Nope, they have the land. Okay. Go for this Dwinin's Elite. Mm, seems good. And a client color. They could also have a board wipe. But I'm holding on to the fact that they don't, maybe. Seems good. We got a Prismari command for one of the clan callers. We're still kind of in the clear here. Um, I am going to grab another clan caller. Taking four damage to the face. Oh, just kidding. I'm gonna board bite me. At least I have this just fire signal. Just hanging out. Uh, that's probably it though for me. I didn't have a thought to use at any point. They had the magma opus on turn three. Yeah, that's it for me. Um, overall, I think we've netted a win today, so it's not bad. I really think I would like to go back to maybe two Circle of Dreams Druids and add back in one Abomination of Lanaway. Let's try this. Let's try this. I think if I work in best of three of the Abominations, um... Versus the Dwinin's Elites are going to be sideboard pieces. Um, I may even have some Skemfire Avengers in there. Ooh, a sideboard piece is pretty good against Wraths. Nice, we do get to see the Abomination. Um, so I am going to... I mostly play Best of One for laddering, as you well know. But I am probably going to work on some Best of Three options for the tournament coming up. I am probably going to play elves. They really want to kill that they can, but I think it would be kind of dumb. Okay. All is well in the world. Actually, it would have been smart for them. It would have been bad for me <laughs> if they killed my Jaspara Sentinel. Everything would have been fucked. That turn would not have been explosive. They should have probably done that. I said it would be dumb, but it would have actually been smart. Bird flare rat. Okay, we will discard this land. But then I can't play this. It's more important to play this. More important to play the Arcturian. If I have to discard a card, I'm probably going to discard the Abomination because Elvish Warmaster, I get activation off of Arc Druid, so. We'll see if they make me discard something here. Penny Bones! Oh, that's such a cute card. That sees. Uh, I'll probably take the Warmaster. I think they should take the Warmaster. 
This isn't me lying. Okay, I think they took the wrong card. He may have taken the wrong card. Um, I have one master activation this turn. That's four, eight, thirteen damage. Provided they don't block. I guess I could have a ritual of slit. That would suck. That would hardcore suck. Alright, they blocked. Still gonna activate it. We go to seven. This is the last game of the night. Just just doing a little bit of light testing. I know this was a short video. Um just wanted to share my Okay, we did it. We did it. I think we netted two wins. I'm feeling good about Circle of the Dreams Druid. I'm gonna try it in best of three. I'm gonna work out a sideboard. Um, but thank you very much for watching this video. I'm always grateful for the support on this channel. Um, and I will see you guys again in my next video. Bye!